probably an unfirm believer in uh, nominal determinism. Yeah, and that's why I predominantly play lead guitar on this channel. You know, John Gordy, you do the work. Right. Anyway, so I was playing guitar last night. I think I'd done a couple of videos, and then I was like, right, I'm going to do some more playing, and I started to think. Am I being a little bit conservative in my playing or is it getting a bit boring? Um, the reason I think that I was thinking of this is that me and David Beebe, friend of the channel, mentor and general black country king, were thinking and talking about the Beat It solo and the Eddie Van Halen thing. And there's bits of that solo which are quite unique and sound as if they're on the edge of his kind of technical ability. And if you watch some of him playing it live, it certainly seems that way, although there may have been some substances involved. But this element of like unexpectedness in playing and taking risks. So I wanted to do, that's what that was at the intro there, was me kind of trying to take a few more risks in my playing as I was doing it. Not necessarily going for what was comfortable all the time. So potentially where I don't have like a little caption, that's kind of, I imagine, my bread and butter stuff where, you know, it's a legato line or it's some, um, uh, you know, vaguely melodic, trying to sound sort of stuff. But I wanted to kind of throw in some more unpredictable stuff. So for me, for instance, um, bending is a thing I don't necessarily do on all of my videos, because part of the focus of my videos, by the way, is to try and not make massive mistakes. So there's an element of sort of control. Um, so most of my videos end up being sort of first or second takes. Uh, unless there's like a couple of false starts or whatever um, and that's what enables me to do kind of this thing daily I'm trying to kind of be honest about where my playing's at and also just enjoy playing in the moment but I think some of that leads to some conservatism so I thought this might be an idea for a video where I show you some of the things that I would throw in if I was being a bit more risky um, some of it lands, some of it doesn't, but things like those bends that you see me doing and sliding from bend to bend, sliding from bend down to another bend, that was something that's kind of completely new for this video um, that I was playing in that improv. Then there's some really wide stretch for me, pentatonic stuff, that was completely new for me. Um, I threw in some tapping, that's not new for me, but it's not something I do much really anymore, although I think there's a time and place for that. I think it's also worth saying that obviously we're talking about lead playing here guitar which is actually not the most interesting thing in the world anyway for anyone who's not you so it's only one small aspect so although that's like quite a big focus on this channel uh, when it comes to playing a real gig most of the gig is actually just playing rhythm guitar right for most of us anyway and then the other thing I wanted to say is that if you're bored with your playing that's quite likely to be the case for most players there's no one who hears more of my playing than me, and uh, I'm fairly sick of it. But it's enjoyable in the moment. So I guess if you feel like you're stuck in a rut or whatever, I think that's partly due to you being too close to the situation. So if anyone else hears your playing, probably they're going to be more surprised by it than you are because you sit with your guitar quite often and you hear the things that you do quite often. So that was just my ideas. Maybe we should talk about trying to be a bit more adventurous sometimes, and sometimes things will work. I know when I'm playing live and there's like a bit more adrenaline, as I tried to show in a video, there's things that I'll try that maybe I wouldn't try in front of a camera so often, um, just because it would mean that I'd have to go and do another take maybe. But also that's maybe something that I'm going to try and do a bit more of. So there was like six and a half minutes of pure improvisation there where I'm just trying to sort of push the boundaries of things that I think might work or might not work and maybe now I'll just tag on the end of this video the take before that where more of it didn't work than did work but you get the sense that this is kind of me trying to do something a bit different to what I might usually do and so part of that is kind of you know faster playing bits um, as I say like the bends like maybe a little bit of sweet picking, some alternate picking here and there. Um, but maybe that's something you could try. And so things that I think are worth trying is you target on like a certain technique that you want to improve. Maybe you go between doing things you're comfortable with and then you try and throw that thing in, go back to comfort and step out of your comfort zone. 
I think that might be a good way to bust out of certain ruts, whether they're actual ruts or whether they're kind of mental ones. The idea of trying to execute a thing which is outside of your comfort zone, then coming back into your comfort zone and being comfortable with that switch and not so tied up in the result that I have to land this every time, I think that might be a positive thing and might also help you to be less bored with your playing if you are feeling bored. <clears throat> Does any of that make sense? Possibly. Let me know in the comments if you've got things that you like to try um, or things that you've never seen me do that you think I should try to do. There is one actually, it's the very Vaughan thing. More to come on that later. Uh, I was using the Podgo for this, the Hold Lead 5 preset. Grab it in the uh, description if you want it. And the backing track will be on my Patreon. Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I do realise there's a lot of my playing in front of the camera on this channel. I do appreciate you watching that, even if sometimes it's a bit over the top in it. Cheers.